دير فيرست بريب سمستر احمد محمود وذ يو توداي السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته ام جلاد تو انتروديوس ا نيو ماثيماتيك ليسون ذا ليسون از الجبرا اتس يونت 2 ليسون 4 اتس ملتيبلاينج اند ديفايدينج الجبريك تيرمز ان ذس ليسون ان شاء الله وي هاف 3 مين ايدياز ذا فيرست وي ار جوينج تو ليرن هاو تو ملتيبلاي تو تو لايك تيرمز اند سوري تو ملتيبلاي تو تيرمز اند ديفايد تو تيرمز And then we are going to solve some problems about the missing term. Uh, let's start the lesson. In the sixth primary, we studied how to multiply two numbers uh, with powers. If we have x power of 2, like this, and x power 5, and in between there is a multiplication sign, then we are going to add the powers like this to be to be x power 7 and for example if we have 2 y power of 3 multiplied by 4 y power of 2 in that case we are going to multiply the numbers together 2 times 4 to be 8 and add the powers because we have y power of 3 and y power of 2 add the powers to be y power 5 okay example 1 uh, find the product of these terms the first term with us 5x times 3y okay first we are going to multiply 5 by 3 to be 15 and x and y x and y are unlike symbols then we can't add their powers then we write x and y without change like this this x this term means 15 x y means 15 times x times y the next one if we have like this negative 3a times 7c Okay, first, negative 3 times 7 equal negative 21. A and C are unlike symbols. Then we write A and C without change like this. To be negative 21 A C or negative 21 times A times C. Next. Here we have 2x which is x to the power of 1 and negative 3x which is x to the power of 1 first we are going to multiply 3 by negative 2 uh, 2 by negative 3 which is negative 6 and add the powers x plus x power 1 and x power 1 together equal x to the power of 2 here uh, we we can add the powers because we have the same symbol x okay the next one negative 8 y to the power of 5 times 7 to the negative 7 y to the power of 4 first we are going to multiply negative 8 by negative 7 to be positive 56 of course you can use the calculator and y power 5 y power 4 together we are going to add their powers to be y to the power of 9 next two x y times negative three x to the power of two we have here two x power one y power one multiplied by negative 3x to the power of 2 first 2 times negative 3 equal negative 6 and x power 1 and x power of 2 x power 1 and x power of 2 together equal x power 3 because 1 plus 2 equals 3 and y here in the first term we haven't y in the second term then we are going to write down y without change it will be y power one as uh, the first term but 
we said before if we have any letter to the power one then we are going to ignore this power okay to be y without power one it's better to write as y without the power one okay the next one we have here five times two which is equal 10 x power of 3 and x power 1 equals x power 4 y power 4 y power of 2 together equal y to the power of 6 next we have here the most complicated one we have multiplication of three terms but in my opinion it's very easy to solve we have 4 and negative 2 and negative 3 together equal 4 times negative 2 times negative 3 equal positive 24 and we have here x power of 3 and here x power 1 and here x power of 2 their sum equal x to the power of 6 y power of 1 y power of 2 and y power of 5 equal y to the power of 8 and this is the idea of how to multiply two terms together next we are going to learn how to divide uh, two terms as we studied in the sixth primary if we have x power 5 divided x power 3 then we are going to divide uh, sorry to subtract the powers okay like this x power 5 minus x power 3 equal x power of 2 example if we have for example 8 y to the power of 6 over 4 y to the power of 2 over means divide 8 over 4 equals 2 y power of 6 over y power of 2 we are going to subtract the powers to be y power of 4 and and this is how can we divide the uh, algebraic terms let's solve the next example find the quotient the quotient is the result of the division okay when he told you find the quotient or the word quotient in any place it means division okay then here we have 6a divided by 2 in the first term we have 6a in the second term we have only 2 okay first exactly as the multiplication we are going to divide 6 by 2 6 divided by 2 equals 3 and here we have a in the second side we haven't a letter then we are going to write down a without change like this then the answer is 3a in the next one 12x divided by negative x here we have x power 1 and here also x power 1 the coefficient here is, divide, uh, is 12 in the second one is 1 first we are going to divide 12 by negative 1 which is equal negative 12 and then we are going to divide x power 1 divided x power 1 we are going to subtract their powers 1 minus 1 equals 0 then it's easier to cross them then the final answer will be uh, negative 12 sometimes um, some students prefer to write x power of 0 it's okay but it's better to write the number without x power 0 which is negative 12 next we have here 10c divided by 2c first we are going to divide 10 by 2 which is equal 5 and x uh, c over c cancelled the final answer will be 5 next negative 25 divided by negative 5 equal positive 5 a power of 6 minus a power of 2 
equals a to the power of 4. Next. We have here 9 divided by 6. 9 divided by 6 equals 3 over 2. It's okay to find in the, the answer included uh, fractions. Okay. Uh, and next, x power 5 minus x power 3 equal x to the power of 2 and y to the power of 4 minus y to the power of 1 equals y to the power of 3. Then the final answer is 3 over 2 x power of 2 y to the power of 3. Next, uh, negative 32 over negative 4 equal positive 8. A power of 3 minus A power of 3. Here I said minus because we divide term by term. A power 3 minus 3. We cancelled A. B power of 6 minus B power of 2 equal B power 4. Okay. Next example. Now I'm going to simplify. Okay. In the simplify we can use time divide plus or minus okay in that case we have 2 over 3 t power 4 times another term 3 over 2 t power 4 here we can use calculator 2 over 3 multiplied by 3 over 2 2 over 3 multiplied by 3 over 2 equal 1 then it will be 1 and t power 4 times t power 4 equals t to the power of 8 as we said before we are going to, ig to ignore 1 because we have uh, an algebraic factor 8 then we cross 1 Okay, then the, un the answer is t to the power of 8. The next one, okay, we have two fractions, 4h power 3k power 3 over 7, multiplied by 21hk power 5 over 2. First, we are going to make them only one fraction, and we are going to multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. Here we have 4 times 21, which is 84. h power 3 multiplied by h power 1. We add the powers. It will be h power 4. k power 3 multiplied by k power 5 equals k power of 8. Down we have 7 times 2, which is equal to 14. And then... We are going to simplify or divide. 84 divided by 84 divided by 14 equals 6. H power 4. We are going to write down H power 4 without change. And K power of 8 also without change. Then the final answer will be 6 H power 4 K to the power of 8. Next. We have here example exactly like the other, uh, the previous one, 15a power of 3b, okay, multiplied uh, over 2, multiplied by 8ab power of 2 over 10. First, we join them to be one fraction, and we are going to multiply 15 by 8, which is 120 a power of 3 times a equals a power 4 b power of 1 times b power of 2 equals b power of 3 down we have 2 times 10 equals 20 
and then we are going to divide 120 over 26 equal to 6 and write down a power 4 b power of 3 without change the next example okay complete the missing term in that case we have two different ways to solve this example the first way is the mental way okay how come uh, we have here 3a multiplied missing term equals 9a to the power of 5 a here is to the power of 1 okay 3 times what it's a question 3 times what equal 9 huh. 3 times 1 equal 9 yes 3 times 3 okay a power of 1 times a power of what equals a power of 5 again a power 1 plus a power what equal 5 okay it's a power 4 okay uh, if you can't solve this one mentally you can divide 9 a power 5 divided by 3 a power 1 this is another way okay the next one we have here 36 a power 5 a b power of 8 equals 12 a power of 3 b power of 2 okay 12 times what equals 36 it's 12 times 3 and a power of 3 times a power of what equals a power 5 it's a power of 2 because 3 plus 2 equals 5 and b power of 2 times b power of what equal b power of 8 it's b power of 6 okay because 2 2 plus 6 equal 8 or the other way you can divide this term by 12 a power of 3 b power of 2 this is the other way next 15 x power of 2 y power of 3 divided missing term equal 3 x y to the power of 2 first I'm going to use the mental way 15 divided by what 15 divided by what equals 3 it's divided by 5 x power of 2 minus x power of what give me x power 1 again x power of 2 minus x power what equal x power 1 it's x power 1 y power 3 minus y power what equal y power of 2 it's y power 1 the other way to solve this one okay without the mental way you are going to divide the first term by the result or the quotient 3x y power of 2 okay the next one and this is a very important question we have here this bracket 6x power 3 divided by 2x okay the result subtracted by 2x first we are going to uh, simplify the, fra the brackets okay how come by divide 6x power 3 by 2x it will be 6 divided by 2 equals 3 x power 3 minus x power 1 equal x power of 2 then we are going to subtract this one 3x to be like this 3x power of 2 minus 2x okay how can we subtract this this two terms 3x power of 2 and negative 2x are unlike terms then we can't subtract them then we are going to leave the answer without change okay because we have unlike terms next we have here 10x power of 2 plus 5x power of 2 divided by 5x first we are going to simplify the, the brackets 10 plus 5 equals 15 and write down x power of 2 without change 
don't forget when we add two terms or subtract two terms we leave the the symbols without change and then we are going to divide 15x power of 2 by 5x 15 divided by 5 equals 3 and x power of 2 divided x power 1 which is minus x power 1 it will be x and this is the final answer 3x and this was the last example with us this is the end of the video see you in the next time inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh